hello welcome friends in this session we are going to show you how to create a pie chart in ssrs report basically pie chart and dugnut chart are very important chart in ssrs and they are used uh, to display data as a proportion of the whole means pie chart are most commonly used to make comparison between groups like we have a groups on like lunch items like sales in a region sales in a year so in this case uh, we are going to uh, display the data in pie charts uh, apart from this pie chart and dugnut charts along with pyramid and funnel charts are used to com comprise a group of charts known as a shape charts shape charts have no axis so we can say if we are using any pie chart dugnut chart or funnel chart or pyramid charts these type of chart are with are displayed data without any axis so uh, how we are going to use pie chart in our ssrs report so we have that some dummy data you can see that we have the data and we have called the this dummy data as lunch data you know uh, they are in the same group items like sandwich salad soups beverage and desserts so how we are going to create a pie chart with the help of this data so we have a, a blank report in our ssrs uh, we have already created now we have to add a data set in our report so in the data set try, uh, just choose a add data set property and rename the data set as a data set lunch sales okay we are using a embedded data source over here and just copy this query from the SQL Studio and paste into data tools. Okay, now you can see that uh, we have already added the data set in our report having two columns item and quantity. Now, simply we are going to our report in the report section, just click on insert and choose data chart. In the chart section, we have a different type of chart, but we need to add pie chart. Okay, now we have added pie chart in this section. Yeah, we have the pie chart like this. Now we have to add the data set. To add a data set to pie chart report, just go to the chart property in a data set name choose ds lunch sales okay now we have added this data set to our chart in this chart section uh, for the series we are going to choose quantity and for the categories we are choose the items so first of all just preview of the report now you can see we have the chart having different uh, uh, color uh, which are displaying in the legend also so first of all we are going to change the uh, title over here Lunch sales okay and just do some more setting over here change it to bold 12 and change the color also now you can see we have added a, a pie chart in our report uh, just preview the report now we are going to do some more changes some more setting in this pie chart 
we have the pipe now we want to display the value on the pie chart so just right click on the pie chart and choose the series properties uh, in series properties first of all we need to show the data labels just preview of the report now you can see we have the value on the pie chart if we want to display this value into percentage just click on a data, uh, label data as a percent it is very easy okay now we have uh, add a percentage over here preview of the report now you can see we have the percentage on the bar chart and if you want to uh, remove the decimal points from the pie chart what we can do here simply go to the series label properties in the label section what we are what we need to do here that is p p0 that means there will be no decimal percentage value on the chart now we are going to preview the report again you can see here percentage from the uh, percent decimal percentage has been displayed disappeared from the bar chart now what we need to do here if we want to give some color for the data labels for so we can choose this and bold now just change the font size of this and uh, one more interesting thing is that uh, which kind of the data we should consider to display the display on a pie chart number one pie chart are popular in reports because of their visual visual impact it is very interactive i mean to say that pie chart is very simplified chart type that may not be may not best represent your data number two uh, pie chart display each data groups as a separate slice separate slice on the chart you must add a at least one data field and one category field to the pie chart number three if you have a null value or empty or negative values and zero values that that means there is no space on the pie chart okay these are the three main things we should consider to display the data on the pie chart now what we are going to do here uh, to give the more uh, uh, interesting more uh, data impact data visualization we go to the properties in the properties section we have the custom attributes in the custom attributes uh, there is a drawing a pie drawing style it is default we are going to change it, it as a soft edge now you can see we have the uh, pie, edge, pie chart now it is by default is inside and preview of the report now you can see that the look of the pie chart has been changed over here same here if i am going to go back to the custom properties and uh, change it as a outside pie label style now you can see yeah and so the data label also uh, preview of the report over here because the color of the font is white that's why it was not displaying on the report so we need to change the color. 
what we need to do here we need to change the label color so labels and in this show label properties now we need to change the label color also so font that is fill color is white so we are going to provide the light green color okay lime color now uh, sorry uh, we have changed the uh, fill color should be transparent but the font color should be lime okay so now you can see uh, now you can see the data points data label also displaying on the reports now what we are going to do here in the in the report section we are going to change it as a inside okay now first of all what, what we need to do here i'm going to do change the color as a white again okay and uh, now i'm going to change the change chart type so now in this case i am using the explore did by chart that is you can see over here so all the settings of the chart has been gone so if we want to recover the settings for this we need to go again to the custom section of the chart over here and in custom attributes i am going to show the soft edge and the pie color is white now you can change the color also pie line color is white but i am going to change as a red okay now you can see we have the we have changed the pie chart type as a uh uploaded pie chart so we can choose any shape of the pie chart from over here so it is very easy how to add a pie chart report in your ssrs report there basically there are some logics where we are going to use this pie chart if we have a null any null values for any category that means this value will not display on the chart okay so and another thing is uh, for each each uh, group data group uh, it will create a different color of the chart hopefully you like this video and uh, uh, hopefully you like this video also over here now it is very easy to add a pie chart on your report please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos thank you for watching us